Good afternoon. It's the 6th of August 2013 and today I thought I'd spend some time talking about the realities of life when it comes to making claims arising from sexual harassment, anti-discrimination, racial vilification, etc. Very common, it's a very distressing thing in the workplace where sometimes people uh, act in the most unsuitable and intimidating way towards other people, particularly in the area of sexual harassment. Um, uh, uh, unsavoury emails, uh, dirty pictures, um, physical touching uh, and simply being a nuisance, a pest uh, to a fault. Now this is very distressing for the people involved and it um, is the most um, disruptive for any corporation in a way that undermines staff morale. If it's permitted to go on then it really does make your place of work not a good place of work. If people get away with it, then they shouldn't. But we hear in the press from time to time that someone sues somebody for $10 million because uh, they were sexually harassed. Um, or someone uh, is suing someone or other and all of the directors of it because um, uh, they have been racially vilified and there's going to be um, some, ten, some sort of $10 million outcome. There's a couple of cases that uh, come to mind uh, where if the press reports have any foundation at all, then you'd have to say that the board of the corporation concerned is, uh, should be replaced because they're spending other piece of people's money irresponsibly and wantonly. For instance, if you've been sexually harassed and you commence action in the um, Human Rights and Equal Opportunity Commission and it winds up in the Federal Circuit Court followed by the Federal Court, then you can expect an outcome of the order of fifteen to twenty-five thousand dollars. You could also sue for breach of contract, and the most you could possibly contemplate in breach of contract would be about twelve months' pay. So, say if you're on a hundred thousand dollars a year, and most people aren't, but if you're on hundred on a hundred thousand dollars a year, and you successfully sue in the federal circuit court and/or the federal court, you'll probably get one hundred and fifteen thousand as a top amount of money the extraordinary outer limit amount of money. So all this nonsense you read in the press from time to time about $38 million and so on, which mysteriously gets settled around a table, if the settlements are any more than about $100,000, $115,000, to take that figure of what, it, what 12 months' pay actually is, then anyone who authorises such a payment, and it's a public company, should be held to account at the next shareholders' meeting. We've had a couple of examples uh, one that sits in one's mind because of the way the two things happened at once. We had one company where a person alleged sexual harassment, a public company, and another international corporation where a person alleged sexual harassment. It was the same law firm representing these two individuals who didn't know each other. The claims were identical, four to five hundred thousand dollars. The impetus within both corporations was to pay up to the $400,000, you wouldn't irresponsibly require such an amount to be paid, would you? Of course, a law firm wouldn't initiate such a, a silly claim. Well, one of the managers, and I won't say which one, said, do whatever it takes to fix it. We settled that matter on $80,000. The other one panicked, the board got involved, the board demanded that something be done, and that person got $450,000 and got to address the board on what the board was doing wrong and how there should be reforms within the corporation. Though one of them was a spurious claim, and I'll let you guess which one, the other one had some substance to it, and that was $80,000. The one with the substance, well, there I've spoiled the guess, the, uh, um, uh, should have got $80,000, it was a just claim. The other one should have been dismissed, but because an uninformed board got involved and people took seriously the spurious claim, a lot of money was spent by that public company. So the important thing and the message from this is perspective. It is absolutely wrong to sexually harass, it's wrong to be a pest, it's wrong to make a workplace somewhere you don't want to be, but we've got to keep it in perspective. The courts are not lottery officers and the courts will give away small amounts of money but not massive amounts of money. I hope that's been useful. Thank you.